welcome to my youtube channel educator jeevan and in today's video i'll give you 10 tips to make your zoom basic account secured if you follow this 10 tips then you can make your zoom classroom secured so let's jump to the today's topic first of all you need to open your zoom app when you open the zoom app you'll get the home screen like this after that you can just go in the setting button and hit the setting button click the setting button after that yes you can see it the down you just click in the view more settings after clicking in view more settings you'll get the next piece yes i have already over there you can see here you'll come up with this next page where you'll get the settings so you need to make 10 different changes 10 different you need to set the 10 different settings in this page to make your account secure and to run your zoom class effectively let's go to the tip number one you can see here the participant video the participant video should be enabled so that you can know that which participant is coming into your zoom meeting id so be sure that you have done enable the participants video after that you can just scroll it down second tip number second is about join before host see here there's a join before host and this should be disabled okay and it's already disabled here in mind be sure that the it should be disabled otherwise the participant will able to join in your meeting id before you come into your own meeting id so be sure that join before host is disabled and now tip number three let's scroll it down see here embed password password in invite link for one click join this will be disable if you don't want to share your password to other persons or just they can come by clicking in the link shared by you to them and if you don't want to share your password then yes you need to disable this be sure that you disable it especially while conducting the meetings with the persons like at for a, for one or twice a time so if you don't want to share your password then be sure that you have disabled it now tip number four you need to mute participant upon entry share this if you only scroll it down you'll get the option mute participants upon entry be sure that you enable it so that the participant when they come into your zoom meeting id then yes they will be automatically muted so be sure that it is muted otherwise the noise coming from them or the they may come up with the bad words the new participant is already in mistakely so be sure that you have muted the participant upon entry tip number five is about the chat let's scroll it down you'll get the chat allow participant to send a message visible to the, all the participants so if you need the chat box for your meeting then just enable it otherwise be sure that you have disable your chat room but if you want it then yes you can turn on and if you want to lead the participant to save your chat then just click over here if you don't want then on click it i don't want to uh, give a permission to save chat to my participant 
then yes i i won't click there and just save the setting but if you want students to save the chat maybe you have to share some of the important links or like any important questions in the chat box then yes then you can just click here and save the setting now tip number six that's about your file transfer let's go down you can see here there's a file transfer yes only you enable the file transfer when your students or when you need to share the images or a file in a chat box if you don't want it then disable it that's up to your choice so that if you just disable it then the participant they won't able to share photos or files anything in the chat box next that's your tip number seven that is just sharing screen sharing yes just maybe you do while you are meetings you may use this screen sharing like to show the participants so you may need it so you need to turn it on but be sure that you need to check the next setting who can share that's only host or all the participants so if you share if you do the all the participant then all the participant can share the screen so the participant may share their things they may be bad so be sure that you make a setting like who can share is only with the host after that there is an annotation over here be sure that you have disabled the annotation if you don't disable the annotation then the participant can overwrite on your presentation or, or in, your, in your slide now the very important tip that is remote control be sure that your remote control is disabled be sure that it is disabled if you don't disable it then the other participant can control your screen so be sure that while conducting your class you may see the number of things happening in your screen and it's not done by you this is all because you have already enabled the remote control so be sure that you disable the remote control otherwise the other participant will play with your screen next tip is about the non-verbal feedbacks if you want your participant to give a non-verbal feedback easily to you then yes you can enable it tip number 10 that's your far end camera control yes if you enable it then it will allow the other users to take control of your camera during a meeting right so sometimes it could be useful also but what i prefer is to disable it so that the participant won't won't control your camera these are all the 10 tips that makes your uh zoom class secure guys everybody watch this video till end to make your zoom class secure so let's go to the bonus tip waiting room guys be sure that you have enabled your waiting room so that the, you can see the list of the participants who in a waiting room so that you can identify the your those students or those participants are your students or not so you just enable it i love to enable the waiting room if you don't want then yes then this participant will directly jump into your room itself next one is about the email notification the very important email notification i won't see here when attendees join meeting before host here if some of the participants join before the time before the schedule that you have made for a meeting then you'll get a notification who is trying to come in in your zoom account so 
just enable it so that you can identify that do participant or the attendees who is trying to come in your meeting id before before schedule time so these tips these all zoom tips that i have given today could be really helpful for you to make your zoom class secured guys if you love my video then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have anything to write just write down in the comment box below and one more thing don't forget to subscribe my channel educator jeevan and one more thing don't forget to hit the bell icons to receive the upcoming videos thank you everyone see you in next video bye bye